Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here, back with another Pixelmon 3.0 video for y'all today. So guys, today I'll be showing you the Pokeloot mod, which has actually been merged with the Pixelmon 4 3.0, as well as the trainer editors and how they work, and lots of cool stuff you can do with it. But yeah guys, if you do enjoy this little uh, mini mod review like I've been doing this series for the last couple of days, make sure to leave a like. Let's try to go for 5,000 once again. We hit that yesterday, that was really awesome. Let's try to do it again. And just a little reminder that if you do enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe as well because I do do this on the regular. But anyways guys, let's get right to it. So, I hope my thing is still there. I got a nice little secret there. That's about the trainers. Uh, I'm not going to show you yet. But what I actually... You know what? I'm going to show you this first, actually. Because, yeah, I'm going to show you it first. So I'm going to break this wall down. So, guys, I've been watching the Twitch Plays Pokemon with, like, Wuffles and Preston and Nooch and everybody. We've been following it a lot. And uh, so, I, I themed it a little, um, the trainer around it. So, I've made the, the trainer Twitch Plays Pokemon. And everybody who's been following it, the subreddit, everything, it's absolutely amazing. So, I've, I've done a little theme for it right here. So, this is just to show off the uh, Twitch Plays, oh, sorry, not the Twitch Plays Pokemon, the trainer editor. So, what you're going to need to edit trainers is a trainer editor. You can only get in that creative, to my knowledge. It's the same icon as the old fishing rod. Get out of here, Bell Sprout, you're really annoying me. But anyway, so pretty much you can spawn a trainer at your own will just by clicking it on the ground. However, I do not want this little garret so you can get out of here. Bell Sprout, stop it, you're ruining the episode. Um, so, uh, like I've already created this guy, and like you can to edit, you just click him and we'll edit them and stuff like that. But I want to show you this dude because this is the important one that I made. Um, so, as you can see here, um, he is a youngster. I tried to make him like the red. You can only use the models from the game. And you can edit everything in the party, which is really cool. Uh, at the moment, there are a couple bugs with it, though, and I don't know what they are exactly. I know there's more server-wide, uh, which we are trying to fix right now um, to get everything going on the servers, like I said for Kanto the other day. But look at the team I got here. We've got Jay Leno, the Ratatata. He'll go into him. Oh, I did a typo there. No way. Well, in the actual thing, it was like Jay Leno, and it was really funny. So we got Jay Leno. We got Abby K, the Charmeleon. We got Drowsy the Gatekeeper, we got Flurry on the False Prophet, we got Pidgeot Bird Jesus in the house, and of course we have the newly appointed Cabbage. I know some of these guys aren't actually in it, like Jay Lenny and Abby K were released, but uh, this is like a day old, I believe, the, this team. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool nonetheless. Um, and you can do all this stuff, you can do, you set your encounter mode so you can battle them once per MC day, once per day, or just once flat out, which is really cool. You can set their AI modes to wander and stand still. Still and engage, I think it's some sort of, um, the engage is like a, uh, a, uh, aggressive mode. So like if, I don't know if it's exactly like Pokemon, if they're in your direct line of sight, they will just go... Dun -dun -dun, and put a nice exclamation mark above their head and then be like battling you go away for no one likes you um, So yeah, that's that's something cool with that um, Another really cool thing is that you can set their uh, greeting wins and loss So as you can see here my greeting is start nine start nine start nine The win is anarchy and the losers democracy hashtag anarchy for win and then if you win you win a helix fossil the almighty helix fossil so that's really cool a nice little uh, touch to this update for sure nonetheless so let's set time to. Um, no, 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 guys, this is uh, it's that that bell sprout is killing me. This is my mammoth one I got from yesterday. Oh my god, it just doesn't stop. First we have bell sprouts, now we have rain. Oh my god. So yeah, that's just a nice little, uh, yeah, nice little showcase of the new trainer editor. Okay, Garrett's gonna stick here for a while. You can't punch him now, which is a shame. But oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm, oh, I accidentally set him to engage. We're versing Jay Leno. All right, let's take him out. Oh. He <laughs> He probably doesn't even know what to do. He's just doing up, down, up, down, up, down, left, right. Oh my god. I think I actually taught that. I don't know. I thought I taught that, um, that, uh, that, uh, drowsy psychic because today they somehow taught him psychic. That's not even going to hit him, is it? No, that was stupid. That was like Pidgeot inside the ghost tower. I hope I'm not the only one here that watches Twitch Plays Pokemon, guys. It is amazing. It's so fun to watch. Um, if you guys actually are watching as well, let me know in the comments. It's so amazing to watch. It's just fun. Um, and then Cabbage here getting hit. I guess that's it. And there we go. I guess this is a good way to show it off. I didn't even know it had this menu. Thank God we did this. There we go. Consult the Helix Fossil. Alright, guys. Wait up. <laughs> but anyways, um, so let's uh, let's get uh, Garrett here. So let's uh, do him. Uh, so no, not do him. Get, get out of it, Garrett. So what I want to show off next is the Pokeloot mod that was added into the thing. Um, he's trying to battle me, uh, which is scaring me because it's making me glitch. So go away. I should. Oh my god. Wait. wait I think I can delete them. Wait, 
let me just delete them and delete done okay that made everything a lot easier i'm gonna delete this dude as well just because he's making me crash he's making me battle him anyway uh so the next thing i want to show off is the poker loot so as you can see here i have these poker loot chests um, you can place them down there. These uh, can only be attained in creative and what they are they're pretty much a uh, a Nice little uh, creative way to put like little loots around the map that people can get really cool for service and stuff like that uh, But what I'm going to show you is the different settings so you can set them if you just click them you can set them to invisible uh, but something that uh, I found out today and it would have been really handy for Pixel Island because uh, the little lizards, they planted them down and they couldn't redeem them. Uh, what you can actually do is you shift and click it. It sets the block owner to server, and then if you click it again, then you get your loot. It makes a nice little cool noise. You will have heard it in my mod, uh, I'm sorry, not in my mod, in my, uh, adventures sometimes. And you do get a nice little cool achievement bar, which has been added, uh, which you can actually, I'm going to show off right here. So if you go into achievements and click Minecraft, you can see your Pixelmon achievement. So if you actually haven't seen that before, that's a nice little addition uh, with the Poke Loot mod. It starts here. Um, okay, that goes into next. It's a Master Ball. And there's also a Pokedex completion uh, thing there, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so the next thing that's in here is the Grotto Spawner. So pretty much self-explanatory. You hit it, bang, you're in one of these dudes. Um, it's pretty much a nice little way of uh, hiding, like, cool little master ball loots and there you go sky drop so that's just a cool little map making thing uh, you would have seen it if you guys did catch the Pixelmon Island series uh, so that's a cool thing there uh, one thing I do want to show off is the wow I just really want to get rid of this tree <laughs> it's it's I, I don't want it anymore but a uh, nice thing I want to show off guys is the item finder so if there is an item in your distance that is invisible you can consult it not the helix though and it'll make a little ding and it will look it'll uh, make a thing in the direction so it's pointing this way so we have to go this way uh yep it must be behind here um there's a house blocking the way i obviously planted this by the way um and there you go it points right to it you get your loot and when you try to click it again there's nothing in the area it'll give you that so that's a nice little cool thing there um, but that's about it guys for this video today. Um, one last thing that I would like to point out because a lot of people were asking in the comments for the last episode. Uh, lots of people asking where to get the new stone ores. So I actually did ask the head dev today, uh, Mr. M, that uh, the sunstone ore, which is the uh, uh, dawnstone ore, flat out isn't used for anything at the moment. There's no curlier or what's the other one? Don't know, can't remember. Um, but uh, the sunstone is actually vital for that... Uh, Wait, I have it in my party. Oh no, what is it? it this dude, Cottony and uh, Gloom to get Blossom. So you can't actually find Sunstone Ore in this update, unfortunately. You'll have to uh, try and like cheat your way in some Sunstone or something because you can't actually obtain him. Uh, that's one thing some people asked. Um, and also the uh, Glygor to Gliscor isn't actually a trade item. You hold him and actually I think we might test that right here because I wanted to test that. Um, apparently you level him up at night while holding the razor fangs. Let's try this right here. Let's do a little myth buster. Um, I hope you guys will uh, see this entertaining as me. Because I actually wanted to test these because there were a couple of methods that didn't work. So let's grab a rare candy. Let's put razor fang on him, which unfortunately doesn't have that texture. Unfortunately. Um, okay, there's Glagger. Time, set. Uh, let's go night. And, oh, the shaders are coming down. And let's hit him. Yep, it definitely works. All right, I'm going to cancel that because we don't have time for that. But, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini mod review that I've been doing for the last couple of days. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Let's try to go for 5,000 once again. That would be awesome, guys. And I'll hopefully see you tomorrow with Pixelmon Spawners. I'll have a nice little uh, mini guide for that. So, yeah. See you guys then and have a good day.